Hey, welcome back to Beard Squid. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work out the formula for a quadratic sequence. Now, in part one, I already showed you how to do this using simultaneous equations. However, in this video, I'm going to be taking a shortcut and showing you how to work out the formula using a quick trick. So let me show you how to find out the formula of a quadratic sequence. Coming up. Okay, so if you remember, this was part one where we solved this sequence using simultaneous equations. We set up a set of simultaneous equations like these ones here, and then we solved these. However, these, this could be quite tricky, and so what we're going to be doing this time around is I'm going to show you the alternative approach. Now, we're going to be um, establishing the fact that the formula for quadratic sequence is un equals to an squared plus bn plus c. Now, we know that. Uh, if you're not sure of that, go and watch part one. Every quadratic sequence must be of the form an squared plus bn plus c. And remember that the formula for every quadratic sequence uh, is raised to the power of 2. Okay, this is the second degree. So we have to have a term that is squared, okay, x squared or n squared or t squared, whatever you want to call it, but it has to be squared. Now, first thing first, if we consider this, carefully examine the differences of the standard form of any quadratic sequence. So for this formula, a n squared plus b n plus c, remember this is the standard form for any quadratic formula, we're going to take the first four terms of the sequence. All we need to do to find the first four terms is substitute the value of n as 1, 2, 3, and 4. So for the first term, if we substitute n is equal to 1, we have 1 squared, which is 1, 1 times a is a, 1 times b, which is b, and then we have c. For the second term, we substitute the value of n is 2. So 2 squared is 4. That makes 4a. And then 2 times b is 2b. And then we have c. For the third term, we're going to substitute n is equal to 3. So 3 squared is 9. That's 9a. And then 3 times b is 3b. And we have our c. Finally, we're going to substitute the value of 4. So n is equal to 4. So 4 squared is 16. We have 16a. And then 4 times b is 4b. And then we have our c. So the next step is that we're going to consider the differences between these terms. So let's write out these terms. So the first one is a plus b plus c. The second one is 4a plus 2b plus c. The third term is going to be 9a plus 3b plus c. And the fourth term is going to be 16a plus 4b plus c. And this sequence carries on. Now the first difference between consecutive terms. So if I find the difference between 4a plus 2b plus c and a plus b plus c, well, 4a minus a gives me 3a, 2b minus b gives me 1b, and c minus c cancels out. Then the next consecutive term has a difference of 5a plus b. The next consecutive term has a difference of 7a plus b. So that completes the first differences of this sequence. So let's look at the second difference of consecutive terms. So the second difference between 5a plus b and 3a plus b, 5a minus 3a gives me 2a, b minus b cancels out, and then 7a plus b minus 5a plus b gives me 2a again. Now, if we have the second differences as constant, you know that you have a quadratic sequence. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight 2a, 3a plus b, a plus b plus c. Now remember, because we're dealing with the standard quadratic formula, this is always going to be the case. We're always going to get, for every single quadratic sequence, we're going to use these three terms. 2a, 3a plus b, and a plus b plus c. These terms are going to be exactly the same no matter what quadratic sequence we're dealing with, okay? Because these are from the standard form, the standard formula for any quadratic sequence. So we can use these now every single time we're going to be dealing with a quadratic sequence. Just pause the video and copy these down because we're going to use them to solve the formula for the next quadratic sequence that we're going to be doing. Let's do a worked example. It says find the formula which generates the sequence 6, 11, 18, 27, 38, and 51. So we're going to find the formula for this. So remember, the first thing that we do is we're going to examine the first difference. So the first difference between consecutive terms, between 6 and 11 is 5, between 11 and 18 is 7, between 18 and 27 is 9, between 27 and 38 is 11, and between 38 and 51 is 13. Okay, so we're going to look for the second differences now, and you can see that the second differences are constant. So remember then, as the second differences are constant, the sequence is generated by a quadratic formula of the form un equals a n squared plus b n plus c. So remember that we worked out the first four terms for this sequence, and we even worked out what the differences were for this sequence, yeah? The first and the second differences. What we're going to use, we're going to use those terms, 2a, 
3a plus b and a plus b plus c and we're going to equal that to these three terms here so 2 5 and 6 and remember all this is is the first term of the sequence the first term of the first difference and the first term of the second difference so that is 6 5 and 2 respectively all you need to do now is solve these three equations to find out the values of a b and c so we're going to start at the bottom because we have one variable so that makes it nice and easy to solve so we've got 2a is equal to 2 so therefore that means a is equal to 1 2 times 1 is equal to 2 so a is equal to 1 now we can use this a and substitute it into the second equation so 3 times 1 is 3 so 3 plus b must equal to 5 therefore b is equal to 2 and now we can use a and b to substitute into the third equation so we know a is 1 we know b is equal to 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus c must equal to 6 which in this case c is equal to 3 so now that we've worked out our constants a b and c we can just substitute these numbers into the standard form for any quadratic formula to find out what the equation is therefore the formula is un is equal to n squared plus 2n plus 3 all we've done here is we've substituted our values of a b and c into this standard form to find that if we had a is equal to 1 which is 1n squared so that's n squared b is equal to 2 so 2 times n that's 2n and c is equal to 3 which gives me 3 so un is equal to n squared plus 2n plus 3 Okay, so that's done. So we know that the sequence 6, 11, 18, 27, 36, 51, and so on is then generated by the formula un is equal to n squared plus 2n plus 3. What we want to do is, of course, um, check that the first few terms actually work. So we're going to substitute when n equals 1, which is 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 3, which equals to 6. And remember, the first term here is 6, so that's perfect. For the second term, we're going to substitute n is equal to 2. So 2 squared is 4. And then 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. And remember, the second term is 11. So perfect. And let's check the third term. So 3 squared, which is 9, plus 2 times 3, which is 6, plus another 3 gives me 18. And the third term is 18. So that formula does work for this sequence. As always, thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, then drop me a like and make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications because I'll be posting out a few more videos on the same topic. Now, there are different techniques to solve the formula for quadratic sequence, so I'll be posting out some of those. As always, I'll see you in the next one.